Good morning. Hope Academy will hold its 10th graduation ceremony tomorrow. It's a tuition free charter school on the north side. 140 students have graduated from Hope Academy over the years, even though many people never thought they would. It's not unusual to find a calendar or a countdown on the walls of a high school, but these numbers aren't the days until graduation. They're the days students have stayed sober. Nine months ago, my life was horrible. Carson Jackson has been clean for nine months. This weekend, he'll graduate from Hope Academy with his high school diploma and his sobriety. I never thought I'd make it to this point. Happiness, a better life. Hope Academy is one of the few recovery high schools in the country and the only one in Indiana. Jackson is one of 12 students in his graduating class. Each one has struggled with drug or alcohol addiction. Many of our students have started using and abusing drugs at a very early age. So 9, 10, 11, 12 is when it really kicks in. The teachers here actually get addiction. I feel like a lot of people have a stigma about it. The teachers are recovery coaches, and the school sits inside Fairbanks Treatment Center, giving students a support system they can't find in traditional schools. And almost kind of retrain their thinking um, and giving them the skills to be able to fill in the gaps that have occurred during their um, substance abuse. Some students will graduate and go to college or the workforce. Others are able to go back to public school. No path is perfect and no path is the same. But each student walks away with the skills and resources they need to stay clean. Most of all, they leave with hope. No matter how low you get, that anything's possible. Carson says he's going to be an electrician after graduation. He's getting ready to start an apprenticeship at the Electrical Training Institute here in Indy. Scott.